Hey guys, uh, so I received a request to do uh, a tutorial on gel liners and how how to apply them. And I know that there are tons of um, videos out there on YouTube on how to apply gel liner, uh, but uh, I did receive a request, so I'm just going to um, do it the way that I do it. Um, I know that there are many options, tons of gel liners out there, um, but I am going to use, because there are two main tools I think um, that work really well for gel liner. Um, one is the angled brush, which looks like this, and then a straight brush, which looks like this. And these come, these particular ones come in different thicknesses as far as the brush is concerned. This one is a Sigma E10, uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty fine. And uh, so is the one on this angled brush, and this is a Sephora one. So um, you can get these at Sephora, you can get them um, uh, Target, uh, Sonia Kashuk has one. Um, much less expensive and just as good. Uh, I believe that Tarte has one, but I'm not sure. I think it may only come in the set uh, that comes with the gel liner. Um, so I'm going to, like I said, apply with both of these, uh, one on each eye, and just show you how I do it. forgive my nails you guys uh, they really need to be done but I was testing out some polishes that I'd gotten okay so there is an exorbitant amount of gel liners that are out there I think that um, you know creamy is key. going to go ahead and use the Inglot uh, number 77 because um, I'm loving it and it's the newest uh, addition to my fold so since it's the baby I'm going to give it a little bit of attention okay so I've already um, done my foundation I've done my brows and I've put on um, some uh, eyeshadow so if you want to see a tutorial on this look I'm more than happy to do that just let me know in the comment section okay so with that we'll go ahead and get started so I'm going to start with the uh, angled brush. The, the thing for me that is important is making sure that you have um, some place to sit. It, it's just easier. Um, if you have to stand though, that's fine. So you're looking down in the mirror and it's also helpful to go ahead and brace uh, your hand uh, on your cheek so that it gives you the stability to move and maneuver the brush you know without it going all over the place. To start I will dip the brush in the product and then just kind of get the brush hairs going all in one um, direction and then dip back in the product and you want to make sure that when you begin that your brush is saturated with the gel and that all of the hairs are in the same direction and kind of going together like that. So again, you're looking down and then you're going to press the brush into your lash line, your upper lash line here. There you go. So if you didn't want to wing it out at all, then you would stop at the end of your lash line. But just know that that is going to close your eye off. Doing a little bit of an extension beyond your lash line is going to elongate your eyes. So if you have round eyes, then you'll want to make sure that you extend that liner out just a little bit beyond, at, at least a little bit. And, and I'm just finishing it up without extending it. So that's what it would look like. So if you're going to do a small flick just right there at the very end of your lash line, you're just going to take the brush and go at an angle like that. Okay? And then from the top, you're going to bring it back and meet the line that you created already. 
okay and then you want to look straight and then when I'm looking straight I can see that my line is not straight and then I'm going to look kind of straight but still where my eyes are kind of looking down I can see the line and then I'm just going to straighten that out okay and there you have it then let's talk about the upper water line here um, I will usually put um, eyeliner on that top uh, water line just because I love that I love that depth that it gives you so um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and line that for you and show you how I do it without pulling my eyes up hopefully you can kind of see my upper water line here so what I'm gonna do is I've got product on the brush and I am just going to move the brush right along that water line you can see there that it's done so I know that some people are not really comfortable you know touching their eyes and things like that or their eyes are sensitive so um, you just have to try to see what works for you but it's definitely better to figure out a way to do it without pulling on your eye. Now we're gonna go ahead and line the the lower water line and again I'm not gonna pull I'm just gonna go ahead I've added more product to my brush and then I'm just gonna run it right along my waterline. You'll want to look up again and then have that meet the flick that you made so that it's all continuous. And then what I do is I go back and just kind of press it into my lash line. And that just kind of blends it. Most of you would say oh that's a no-brainer but some people don't know that when you line your lower lash line it's it's always good to add mascara because it kind of seems to hold the product and it just kind of looks better even if it's just one coat just go ahead and add it now we're going to go to the Sigma E10 so the same thing with the product you want to get it on the brush make sure that it's saturated and uh, that all the bristles are kind of going in one direction so it's kind of like a pen. It's a little bit different with the angle also since you know depending on your dominant hand. You're going to go ahead and lay the brush flush against the eye and run it just along the lash line. Now it's a pretty thin line so then you're going to come back this direction and again flush against the eye it's just easier that way the tip of the brush is more for the line work the detail work outside and I'm just thickening it up a little bit here because this E10 really gives you a nice fine line. And it's always better when you're starting out to get the line as thin as you can and then build from there. Because with gel liner, because it's, it's pretty serious stuff, it's going to be harder to correct it so it's better to build up. End of the line, here in your lash line, and just go up. You want to make sure that you're even. Okay. And then again, just bring it back to meet the line that you've already created there. 
look straight on make sure that you're even I'm gonna do the upper waterline and now I'm just painting that on if you're looking down you guys if you're looking like this it's harder to see you can still do it but it's a little bit more difficult but if you tilt your head back and you're looking down then it's much easier and there it is the lower water line and I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other eye the only difference is that I'm making sure that the brush is laying basically on the lash line as I'm painting and I'm making sure that I'm using sh uh, short strokes I do love this brush and now we're just going to go back and push it into the lash line with what's left on the brush. We're not dipping back into the product. Over here that you're clean. I'm not sure if you can see, but I have a little bit of a gap there. A little bit of product just on the end of the brush. And I'm just going to connect that and make sure that it meets. So there you go. All lined up. I did the rest of the look off camera if there's anything that you want to see that I did um, off camera then you know just go ahead and let me know and I will be happy to post a, a video on it um, just remember you guys to, to just be patient and work with it if you can sit down and if you don't have somewhere to go right away it's great if you can take your time with it especially when you're learning um, Again, sitting at the table and being able to brace your elbows while you're looking down into the mirror, um, I think is a great help until you get a lot more comfortable with doing it. Uh, if you can't, just remember to kind of brace your hand uh, on your cheek um, with your, your pinky and, and that kind of gives you a little bit more range of motion with your hand when you're trying to apply it. And don't, don't, don't pull on your eyes to to do your eyeliner if at all possible um, find a way and if you're having an issue then let me know and I will try to help you figure out um, a better way of doing it if you're not using a gel and you're using a pencil and you know it's a little bit more difficult I mean I can do it I can get in there because I'm just comfortable with doing that but if you're not and it's your lower line that you're trying to do let's see if I can do this if you just press right here right here at the top of your bone it opens and kind of brings that water line down without you having to pull to get uh, to your water line so try that if you're using a pencil and trying to um, line your inner ring. I wanted to add when you're using a pencil is to make sure that the formula is very um, it, that it's soft and it's going to glide on. If it's not waterproof then you'll want to make sure that you set it. Find a comparable eyeshadow um, where so that you can kind of fence it in with a um, with a line of powder and that will kind of keep it from from running if it's not a waterproof liner but just make sure that the formulas that you use are smooth and soft so that you're not having to really just you know press on your eye to get the color payoff that you're looking for let's take care of our skin and preserve it um, it's the only skin you've got so we want to make sure we take care of it so thanks so much I appreciate your time and I hope that this video was helpful and if there are any questions or anything else that you would like to know any other looks or anything that you would like me to do um, post it down in the comments section and I'll be happy to get it done for you okay so thanks again and be blessed guys have a good day and stay grateful bye bye